record. Hey everybody and welcome to a new game, uh, Outlast. This is a first time playing through in many years, uh, so hope you enjoy. Also a very special uh, shout out in this episode, it is uh, Ace Casanova's birthday. So a very happy birthday to Ace Casanova. I'm going to put their links in the description below. So we're going to get started here. And we'll play it on normal mode. Outlast contains intense... Okay, hopefully my controller stops disconnecting. Uh, contains gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choice is to run, hide, or die. Okay, so this will be a very different type of playthrough. And I hope you are all uh, having a good day. I uh, forgot my basic intro. So, as always, this is your host, Callan Hale. I'm playing a spooky game so you don't have to. So sit back, relax, put on your headphones, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get spooky. We're about to head up to Mount Massive Asylum. Get my options and show subtitles. I have to keep these settings, yes. September seventeenth, twenty thirteen. Uh, tip, illegal activity at Markov Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I had two weeks of software consult at Markov Psychiatric Systems. Facilities at Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that I'd been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt. Markov is making money. It just needs to be exposed. All right. Objectives are updating your reporter's notebook. Containing your notes. Pick through, pick up documents. Okay, notes. I don't have any documents. The whistleblower. All right. Let's see here. Don't look if there's anything in that guard tower. To open a door, press X to open the door. Slowly hold down X and move forward or backwards. Press 
R button, there is your camcorder. Okay. Event recording, adding a note to your notebook. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Markov Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of charitable organizations. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than lost signal. The Markov Corporation has a long track history of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be able to be the story that breaks the bastards. Okay. Wait, there, there was somebody up there. To run, hold down left button. Okay, these look like military vehicles. Well, that's interesting. That door is locked as well. Okay, that's chained and locked. That's also chained. Hmm. With the camcorder, you can zoom in and out. <laughs> Jump over gap, press A while moving forward. Than precarious at all. So, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about while I try getting into this place uh, Unnamed Game Co. Uh, 31 Days of Gaming is launching soon. Activate, press R when your camcorder is out. Yeah. Night vision, it uses battery. I think this is the room where I saw someone. Whoa. Pick up the battery. 
one. Okay. Document. Markov Psychic Systems Project Wall Wall Rider, Mount Massive, Colorado. Case number one seven four. Patient initials W P H. Billy. Consultation date twenty twelve ten fourteen. Initial date of patient consult two thousand nine oh four twelve. Patient age nineteen. Gender male. Observing physician Dr. Carl Houston. DBNR therapy status patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream state morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale continuing stage four hormone schedule diagnostic spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes highly worrisome MRI revealed arrhythmic REM NREM cycle, laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Markov and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic, catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. Our orderlies and security personnel must be questioned in video. Security improved to include Analytical Biometrics, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive, Colorado. Okay. Okay, uh, please avoid contamination, wash your hands. All right. Okay. Um. Hey. I haven't had a jump like that since Fatal Frame. Okay. Inside, bodies everywhere, blood burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar, dead Markov scientists up from the ceiling. The badge says Markov Advanced Research Systems. Markov, longtime MO, had been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Markov think they would make money off building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit, tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Okay.
And I think we're going to stay low. Okay. All right. I think this is uh, where we're going to call this episode. And like I mentioned, end of these, I'm going to kind of change it up a bit and do a kind of a heart to heart talk, make sure, check it on everybody. Uh, one thing. As the year comes to a close, you know, we've, we've all got busy schedules, but make sure to take some time to check in on somebody you might not have heard from in a bit. I, know I haven't heard from a few friends I met on Twitter. I hope they're doing fine. If they're watching this video, reach out. Let us know you're okay. Uh, another thing is the idea of, uh, in a TTRPG sphere, and the video game sphere, the horror game sphere especially, is this idea that we're all in competition with each other. Let's build each other up. That idea we're in competition is to do, is the idea of big corpse to keep small creators down. So if we could just help each other out and build each other up, life would be so much better for all of us. Uh, one thing I, I want to hype is I'm going to be making dice available soon on the shop. D3 is opening up. Gemma will be streaming in the new year. And that will be up on her Twitter. You'll find a link to that below. And as always, hydrate, medicate, eat some good food, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others. Kindness isn't just a free action, it's a bonus action as well. So I will see everybody in tomorrow's episode of Outlast, and I will also see everybody in the stream tonight. So thanks for tuning in. Love you all. Bye.